On the plains of Arizona lives a very unusual species of ant. In most ant species, it's one queen per colony. But here, several queens may cooperate to dig a new nest. Although, some put in more effort than others. That one on the right's doing nothing at all. Once they've hollowed out a chamber, the queens move in and start laying eggs. Here's one. Each queen has a small pile of eggs and hatches out their own workers. Unusually, these workers are loyal to the nest rather than their mothers. Some workers tend to the larvae. At least, I hope that's what this one's doing. Yeah, I'm sure it's just feeding it. Other workers go out to forage. Mostly they're looking for nectar. But others collect honeydew from aphids. Ooh, that sounds nice. Unfortunately, honeydew is actually aphid excreta, which the ants eat. Disgusting. The returning workers force feed the largest worker class. Yeah, they vomit aphid poo right into their mouth. These large workers have expandable abdomens. They're known as repletes and are responsible for the species' common name of honeypot ant. They can get quite unwieldy. In fact, they usually hang out on the ceiling like lovely orange balloons. Let's hope they don't pop. They're like a living larder. When the workers need food, they get to vomit the stored honeydew back into the workers' mouths. That seems fair. Is this one still feeding this grub? Now, one of the queens has had enough of shared rule and sends the workers to butcher the other queens. Their daughters sting and rip them apart. Off with her head! Not content with ruling one nest, she tries to expand her empire. So they pop round to the neighbours to borrow some sugar. I mean, uh, kill them all! They're ruthlessly efficient. They rip apart some repletes and feed on the honey there, whilst others are dragged back to the nest. What a life! Force-fed, can barely walk, and then either get ripped apart or dragged away. You know, I'm not sure that one is feeding this larva. I think it might be in the